Welcome back to Livy's Lovelies, your inspirational craft channel. And I'm your host, Sam the Fabulous. For more ideas, inspiration, swaps, and challenges, click the link in the description below to join our craft community, The Maker Exchange, on Facebook. Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back to the Lovely Lab. All right, guys, so um, <clears throat> for the last few months, at the beginning of each month, I have tried to provide you with just some updates as to what projects I'm working on, some new things that I've acquired or, you know, not necessarily hauls, but tools that I'm working with and what have you. So without further ado and to keep that momentum going, I am going to share with you what's on my desk for the month of February. Now, if you're new to the channel, you may want to go ahead and click that subscribe button along with the notification bell so that you won't miss any of the crafty uploads, DIYs, hauls, and projects that we work on here in the lovely lab. And if you are a current subscriber, thanks so much for joining me again and for sharing, commenting, liking, you know, the feedback. I love it. Keep it going. Keep it going, folks. Now, before I get started, I'm just going to ask that you drop in the comments uh, what projects you guys are working on for the month of February. OK, I want to see what else everybody else is up to. We had a good day today. Uh, the sun was in the sky. It was 70 degrees. So me and Josh headed outdoors, hit the trail. He scooted along on his little scooter and I actually uh, walked you know, fast paced behind him, uh, listening to a vlog. Um, it's Journal Life's Journey with Rush Rochelle from Scrap Craftastic. That's one channel. And then her second channel with her vlogs is Journal Life's Journey. So she kind of kept me occupied while my son is zipping through the trail. So if you aren't familiar with that channel, I'm gonna drop a link below so that you can head on over and take a look because she's very real very entertaining but she also gives you a little bit of insight into her craft life as well so without further ado what's going on on the desk in the lovely lab all right so recently I picked up uh, there's a dollar general near my home so I'm popping in there a couple times a week just to pick up milk and you know Oreos the necessities you know um, but I always slide into their craft section from time to time. You know, I'll, I'll let a couple weeks go by so that when I slide into the craft section, uh, which is nothing more than like, you know, one shelf with, you know, it's not that serious. It's, but they have quite a few things there. They actually have more craft supplies at the Dollar General than they have at the Dollar Trees near me. Anyway, so I picked up these, uh, premium brush set and I think this is, $3.96, but it comes with six brushes and it's by Art Skills Crafters Closet. <clears throat> and I wanted it because I saw this brush and I thought that this would be great for when I decoupage, you know, uh, you, uh, journaling uh, stuff. But it has six, six good brushes. And I know this isn't like artist quality supplies, but for the price and for what I'm using it for, I thought that this was. Um, a really good buy and I wanted to share that with you so if you have a Dollar General in your neighborhood Family Dollar doesn't have the same products but if you have a Dollar General in your neighborhood check them out also there they had believe it or not 10 A2 size card sets for a, do a dollar a dollar people now let me just check out the quality of the cards because I, um, I didn't even check to see if they were flimsy or anything but let me just see how thick the card actually is. It's something I can... Yeah, that's not too bad. That is pretty... It's probably like a 40-pound weight. Uh, 40... Yeah, 40 pounds. Um, but it comes with 10... It's 10 sets in here with the envelopes. So you can either use these in journaling. You know, you can cut these apart and use them as journaling cards or just use them as bases for cards which is what I'm going to be doing because I actually need to put together a batch of sympathy cards, thank you cards and a couple Valentine's Day cards for my my men here. So again, Dollar General, a dollar for 10 and you ain't going to find that at Hobby Lobby or any of the craft supply stores. So don't even go trying to look unless of course you use a coupon, but that's a whole other story. 
So then I also picked up this DIY wooden truck. Now it's a stand, so let me see if I can take it out. I'm not gonna, well, I guess I have to take it out for you guys. What wouldn't I do for my lovely community? So this is kind of how it goes. Oh, it's a little extra work there. So it's supposed to sit in here like this, and this is what Josh and I are gonna work on. He um, he likes to you know do the painting, so I'll let him uh, use either the spray paint or the regular paint and paint it, and then I'll decorate it a little bit more. But that was only two dollars, so it's a cute little something that he can add to his window, the window um, sill in in his uh, near his desk, in the, you know where we homeschool at. But a couple weeks ago, we picked up um, another wooden plaque at the dollar at Dollar General. I think this is a dollar. And so he painted it all pink. And then I took some Tim Holtz Distress Ink and just, you know, distressed the edges. And then I placed in the back, um, on the back, I used some blue colored uh, cardstock for the hearts and then a gray and white speckled cardstock I laid over the entire back and I just used the gray color because it's you know it's guys here in the house and they don't want to see all the frilly lacy stuff I would prefer to do you know go overboard with it but you know how they are so I think what I'm going to do is I'm also going to um, take a little bit of um, just actually what I'll do is I got to take the string off but I'm going to Mod Podge over it and with the matte, a matte finish and just drop a little bit of uh, sparkle or glitter, just a little bit, just a little dusting of it, you know, and then that'll go in our, um, our family room. So another thing that I am working on, I'm still working on my Christmas keepsake book. I've gotten some more progress. I've added this little uh, journaling card that was made by, let me see, let me pull this out of the way, um, that was sent to me by one of my junk journal buddies. And then I added um, this picture of Josh and I at church. I've got to write in here, but this was week at the movies, a little photo of us. He and, he and his mama. You see that? Okay. And so, and then I'll just add, but I have another photo of our family that I'm going to add in there probably towards the end. Just some cards, the cards. I think you guys have already saw that. A uh, holiday dinner. Uh, I've seen that. Christmas card. My son's uh, stuff in the back. And then there's a little journaling card that was given to me by a junk journal buddy. If you're not familiar with junk journal buddies i'll drop a link below take a look over there with liz and her friends and uh let's see one of the gifts that we received and i just used one of these that i did on camera some of the ephemera that i made on camera um to jot down the memory from the friends who sent it to us and you saw that you saw me make that or i already showed you that Christmas card from my dad, a Christmas card from a junk journal buddy with a little note inside, just glued that in, and uh, let's see, picture of Josh at the, we were, we just, in December, we took a little family ride to a neighboring town and stopped at the Bowling Alley, which is where you'll see some, if you can see right there. The notes is down here, but it's kind of hard to see it in on the camera. But uh, Josh, we didn't actually end up bowling. We just hung out in the arcade area. And so that's Josh on one of the little motorcycles. He is a uh, Hot Wheels, cars. He's a vehicle enthusiast altogether. And then this was, um, I think you guys saw when I um, showed some of the gifts that I received from um, mem uh, friends at church. And these were keepsake ornaments that my friend hand painted and they were gorgeous. And so I wanted to, put, I took a picture of that and printed it and added it there. And then here is the note of me just jotting down the memory. And then Josh with his camp, uh, TV is so loud in the background. You saw that with me and my bestie. And 
little pocket there with um, a journaling card from, a, again, another junk journal buddy. I, w I think this book would be rather plain it w without the things that I received from all of them. And then here's the thank you card from our, my pastor's wife um, that she gave me along with a gift. And I just used some washi tape and some uh, lace, paper lace. And then, so that's about it. So that's it for that book. And then I'm also working on the Gratitude Journal that you guys have seen. You probably see the last video that was uploaded. We are working on our uh, Gratitude Journal. We've put pockets in, tuck spots, and we'll be working on prayer cards and decorating um, the book and what have you. So we, so far we've done uh, clusters and closures. We will be, we've done the pockets and tuck spots. Uh, we will use the clusters to decorate and then we'll also create some prayer cards from journaling cards. And let me see. Now I wanted to share with you, I'll just show you the, what I will be using for the journaling or the prayer cards which you've probably seen in a previous video but <clears throat> um, I'm going to be using the gratitude quotes as well as the gratitude scriptures so if you hadn't seen it and there'll be a link below to the Etsy listing um, the gratitude there's a the gratitude journal kit which is available in my Etsy shop right now so it has the gratitude quotes and I'm going to print mine on, I might just keep them on this regular paper, but you can print them on cardstock or any other type of paper that you wish. Um, and this is just lots of different quotes. And I made sure that I had the font so that it can be cut up and placed however you want. Then it also has the gratitude scriptures, which you can do this, use this in the same way. The font is a little bit bigger. And then last, well, not lastly, I also included an envelope. This is documented to be used in the journal. And then we have the gratitude tiles and prompts. So I'm going to be using these elements to create my prayer uh, cards, um, which you can use prayer cards or journal. You know, you can create prayer cards or journal cards, whichever you prefer. And this is what uh, the documented envelope looks like. Once you print it out, you can use that like that, add it to the side of your journal, um, you know, add it to the side and you can flip it out. Or should I say, uh, yeah, you can add it like that, flip it out, put stuff inside of it. And then, um, so that's that. That's what I'm going to be, we'll be working on. And that is what is on my desk for the month of February. So again, drop down in the comments. Let me know what you guys are working on. And um, also, let me just share another thing with you guys. Um, once I'm done with the gratitude journal, I've got to figure out what I want to do with this. So you know how you have those at a glance calendars. Well, I use this for my planning for um, Sunday. Uh, yeah, I think I've shared with you guys, I'm a the director of our children's ministry at church. So I take care of the scheduling, the volunteers, making sure that we have the curric curriculum, supplies, um, outreach of, um, events, and things of that nature. All Everything pertaining to the kids. Ages, birth, or six weeks to fifth grade, I think it is. So I use this at a, at a glance to do all of my scheduling and keep up with things, meetings and stuff like that. Well, I finished up the 2019 one and then I cut the, I realized, you know, that that cover was, could be used in something. I wasn't, not quite sure what, but I'm going to figure out something to do with it. So then I just cut it off. So that's what it looked like. And then I said, well, you know, can I, can I fold it? So I folded it in half. It folded very well. And then I just used my corner punch to punch the edges. 
So here we have a journal cover that I can use and I'm quite sure that I can sew. I can sew pockets and what have you into this. So that is my next project. After we get finished with the gratitude journal, I'm going to check and see what I can do with this material because it's kind of like a faux leather, you know, vinyl, faux leather. It's kind of plasticky, whatever. Anywho, um, but I'm sure it will hold up very well. I'll reinforce the side, of course, but with some type of Tyvek or what have you, but I'm just going to experiment and uh, I'll take you guys along for the ride. All right. So anyways, with all that being said, guys, thanks so much for joining me and following along. And I hope that you guys are staying busy in your craft labs as well. And all that being said, until we're back here again on YouTube, guys, stay encouraged, stay blessed, stay creative and crafting. Bye for now. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Hit subscribe to join the crafty community and be sure to click the bell for notifications of new uploads. Thank you so much for watching. Now stay tuned for more from Lily's Lovelies, your inspirational craft channel. Bye for now.